It's my pleasure today to be here with uh, Betsy and uh, Dr. Wayne Wood. And um, we are discussing how we went through this process of uh, correcting Betsy's vision, a patient with uh, previous uh, real keratotomy with partially ectatic cornea with fuchs dystrophy um, in her left eye with best corrected 2200 vision. And um, how Dr. Uh, Wood's expertise um, and we working together about uh, determining vision potential first of all and then determining what to do led us to uh, an outcome today that she is 2025 in her left eye. Betsy is extremely active, uh, um, wonderful person and can appreciate the vision change so we're going to hear it from everybody in their own words and we'll interact and uh, uh, it's a pleasure Betsy to have you here today. Thank you, it's a pleasure to be here. When I explained the plan to you, one thing was very important to me is does she have potential to see? Like I said, as an eye surgeon who has vision as a driving force, I wanted to make sure whenever I offer options is what is the potential that you're going to see better? Because that decides whether we should do anything. Correct. Just doing surgical heroics is not a pleasure. And I understood that. Absolutely. That's when I sent you to Dr. Woods. He does uh, you know, a hard contact lens trial to determine vision potential. So, Wayne, your perspective on a case like this or other cases we've done, which you've shared so many in the past. Well, I've always been a firm believer in interdisciplinary cooperation when it benefits the patient as well as this has, and, and it was a pleasure to me to, to meet Betsy and to see her conditions. As an optometrist, our uh, uh, focus in my 40-year career in it is to not only make people see better through refractive methods, both glasses, contact lenses, but also optometrists are trained in in the, the real nitty-gritty of how refraction works. And so working together with the first time uh, being able to deliver surgically some of the things we've been able to only do refractively is really quite a breathtaking thing to do and I've enjoyed working with you Dr. Golani in doing that. Um, Betsy's case, like many others that we, we face, uh, has an irregular cornea sometimes due to Fuchs dystrophy, sometimes due to keratoconus, due to previous surgeries and uh, when you have an irregular cornea, the best refraction that one can achieve is often fraught with uh, the fact that we're dealing with a surface that is not smooth and round like a nice uh, clear lens. So having the ability, after many decades of fitting hard contact lenses, we can put a rigid gas permeable contact lens on a patient such as Betsy and uh, smooth out that irregularity to the point that we can then see what the potential for her surgical result would be by using the optics of a contact lens to neutralize the irregularities. And so we've done this on a number of patients with Dr. Gulani and had splendid results where we find out what the best potential of vision would be by using a contact lens. And in the case like Betsy, he put that into his magic formula and delivered vision that she's going to enjoy for a long time to come. And, and you know, Wayne, uh, I like what you just said because I say this all the time. If you can fit somebody with glasses or contacts and make them see, you have put me on the line. Think about it. Right, Betsy? Because now you've shown the patient and proven to yourself and myself that she has this potential to see. So now, doctor, deliver with surgery. So it really raises the bar. And uh, as, as somebody, I mean, you're a teacher to optometrists and with your extensive experience, uh, I'm a teacher to eye surgeons and, uh, you know, LASIK surgeons. And my teachings are very simple. I say, you must know the complete refractive setup of the eye. Otherwise, doing the surgery just doesn't make sense. You have to know how to measure, how to place a goal, and then go surgical. Surgery, surgery is the easiest to me. Planning is what takes individuality. So uh, every time we've shared patients of previous LASIK, previous RK between you and me who've been told they can't be helped, they are miserable with double vision or high astigmatism, or keratoconic patients that we worked on, um, and all previous refractive surgeries, the fact that you can deliver, or you know, when I do these surgeries, we can deliver the vision is truly from first being able to measure it correctly. Like I said, even though I measure it in my way, coming from you with a hard lens, it's like if their cornea was normal, that's the vision the patient should expect. So it's been a pleasure, this interaction. And what I appreciate about our patients and Betsy and her research, uh, her husband's a physician, and uh, her own research was so in depth. So what I appreciate there is the trust factor. Because where else can I send her to, to reference this work that we are doing? And uh, that's why we met so many times, because I want to always make sure honesty is the center point of this. 
that yes, I can do a transplant for you, but that's my last resort. I don't want to do something so interventional, but I'm confident that with the laser, we can deliver vision where she can without any glasses function. So to me, this teamwork is the, I would say, the, a foundation of the future of vision. What did you say? Not only can you correct patients who are told they're not candidates, like people who we've shared, keratoconus, high astigmatism, high refractive errors. Then a whole second level of patients of previous refractive surgeries, which there are millions now. Previous LASIK, previous RK, previous HEX-K, previous cataract. Mm -hmm. And third, complications of these surgeries. So there are three tiers, I feel, as a refractive surgeon, we should look forward to in the future to be able to help. And I feel this kind of teamwork with the patient included as a team, Betsy, would you agree? Absolutely. Creates a scenario where there's trust, but that trust is coming from logic, proper measuring, proper goal setting, complete confidence in the work, and then executing surgically. So we three can sit down here and, you know, smile uh, about how this is possible. And your staff, amazing. And um, you're a very self-confident person. And I love that because... I knew that you were self-confident, but that you were self-confident because you truly believed in, in all of the things that you say and in your teachings and in your experience. And I was so happy that you were so self-assured because it, it actually calmed me down. I, I, I trusted you. Um, and that was just incredibly important to me. But I was still a nervous wreck on surgical day, <laughs> but it went beautifully and so easy, and I'm so thankful to have my vision restored. And now we're going to work on my right eye. Well, our, our reward as vision care specialists is the, not only the appreciation of what ordeal you've gone through, but the, achieving a result like yours where we know we're going to make the rest of your life better, that you'll enjoy seeing this world, and that our technical the collaboration is has been a good thing and that makes us happy. So thank you for letting us work with you. Well, again, it's been a pleasure. Uh, Betsy, thank you so much. It's been a real no, honor. Thank you. Enjoy your life and have fun. Oh, I hope you'll see more of me. Sure. <laughs> thank you.